Today in Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, the Tetra Hearing Multi Pursuit Alpha Shields. <laughs> years ago my husband and I were hunting turkeys and we had the opportunity to double up on a couple of beautiful gobblers but because of a shooting so close together at the same time I definitely had to deal with some ringing in my ears for a few days after that. At that moment I knew I was going to start wearing hearing protection while I was turkey hunting. I have used a few other devices through the years we've actually reviewed those and I'll put that link below and they did a great job and I really liked them but I came across these Tetra hearing devices at a conference last summer and I just knew I had to try them. I've had the Tetra hearing alpha shields for about nine months now and I've used them quite a bit in different hunting scenarios as well as just a lot of shooting scenarios and I wanted to let you know what I think. So let's review this thing. As always on review this thing we cover the facts. The first part is fit. One thing that I really like about the Tetra Alpha Shields is how they fit. You can see that they're very small, they're lightweight, and they'll really like the shape of it so it fits perfectly just right in the conch of your ear. Um, I googled that so I would know what to call it. <laughs> so they're nice and snug and secure. When you do put the device in your ear you just want to make sure that you definitely get it securely in place so that it stays put, doesn't work its way out. One of the first couple times I used these I was in a hurry and I really wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and so I just put them in real quick and started shooting at a range day and just over time the left one actually worked its way out. I was shooting a nine millimeter and after a couple of shots definitely heard that ring in knew something wasn't right and figured out I hadn't put it in correctly and it had worked its way out. But after that, I have never made that mistake again and I haven't had any trouble with them coming out since then. I think the main thing when it comes to fit is the size of that inner conch of your ear. The website says that these fit 95% of people. So if you happen to have a really small ear, the inner conch, then you may want to contact their customer service before you order. They also have a custom option, so you can talk to them about that too. The Alpha Shields also come with three different sizes of foam as well as silicone ear tips. I myself prefer the foam because I'm just kind of used to the whole smushing the foam, putting it in your ear, and then letting it expand thing. I also feel like it just gives me a better seal inside my ear. As you know with any in-ear hearing protection, a vast majority is passive, which just means your ear being sealed off so the sound can't get to your eardrums. If these don't fit well and aren't in your ear securely, then you're not going to get that passive protection. One way to test it is when you put it inside your ear, do it without a battery in it and just see how much sound is getting through and just test out the different tips until you really can't hear much of anything with them in with the battery out. Also in terms of fit, they're extremely small and super lightweight and they have a very low profile. You can see here that when I have them in my ear, it really doesn't stick out very far past my ear. And that's really huge for me because I can still wear a hat over my ears. The other week we went snow goose hunting and it was literally freezing and I had a couple of different head coverings on and I didn't feel like it was just constantly pushing against the device pushing against the inside of my ear so it was still very comfortable. And that low profile is also very nice because you can very easily shoulder a shotgun, shoulder a rifle, and the ear protection doesn't get in the way and alter how you have to hold the gun. So as far as scoring fit, I think they fit very well, very comfortably. Once I chose the proper tip and get it in the correct position every time, I haven't had any trouble at all with fit. So because of that, we're going to give fit a 5 out of 5. Now are the Tetra Hearing Alpha Shields as advertised. The first thing Tetra advertises is that they are easy to use. These things are super easy to use. You just put the battery in, close it, put it in your ear, and you're ready to go. The pair that I have have different programs, and to change the program, there's just a little slide that you slide, and that's all you have to do. They also advertise you can wear these all day. I will definitely say that snow goose trip I was talking about, the first day I probably had them in about 12 hours, and the second day, eight or nine hours. Obviously, there were times where you know you have a hard plastic piece stuck in your ear, but overall, they were super comfortable. And I might even say that sometimes I kind of forgot they were there. One of the main things they advertise is that they block the effects of and the loudness of a shot while still being able to hear the things that you want to hear. I have worn these to the range a lot and being able to wear them and still carry on a conversation while still being able to have that protection from the shot is absolutely wonderful. I will say one kind of drawback is that I have really good hearing. I do kind of feel like I can't hear as well conversation wise with these in as without them. Now that goose hunt trip and then another duck hunting trip we went on. Definitely able to hear the geese and the ducks. I could tell where they were coming from. Very clear. No problems with that whatsoever. Now I haven't gotten to wear these turkey hunting yet but I wanted to tell you about them before turkey season got here. In order to test them out though yesterday morning and this morning I put them in and went outside to listen for turkeys. I will absolutely say that I was able to hear the turkeys and they were quite far off this morning and I was able to tell exactly where they were coming from. It's funny because 
my husband has like crazy hearing when it comes to hearing turkeys and he can always hear things I can't hear. So he was pretty impressed this morning because I actually heard all of the turkeys gobbling that he heard. And that's kind of rare. So these things must be doing something. Now, another thing I want to mention is that these are the multi-purpose alpha shields. And because of that, they have enhanced wind noise reduction. That's probably one of my favorite things that I've seen with these so far. When I've worn other hearing protection, everything is louder especially wind and you almost can't hear anything else because of the wind noise these actually do a very good job of blocking that wind noise and making it so you can still hear everything else so are the tetra hearing alpha shields as advertised as far as we have used them they absolutely are super easy to use and so far with the various hunting that i've done able to hear the animal that i'm supposed to be hearing and i can still carry on a conversation at the range again i wish i could hear the conversations just a little bit better but it's definitely not bad so because of that, I'm going to give, as advertised, a 4.8 out of 5. Now on to construction and durability. So now is a good place to tell you what makes Tetra hearing devices different than some other hearing protection that I've used. First of all, you need to know that these are very similar in technology to actual hearing aids. The founders of Tetra Hearing are actually both hearing doctors and both of them are hunters. So when they designed these, they designed them for the hunter coming from the knowledge and the technology of the hearing industry. So therefore, the technology in these isn't just to increase all of the sound that you hear. They are designed with what they call specialized target optimization or STO. What this means is they do suppress loud sounds like gunshots. They also enhance sounds like other hearing protection. The difference is that these are programmed so that they enhance the sound that you need to hear for what you're hunting. So for instance, if you're hunting turkeys, it's going to increase the sounds that you hear at the frequency of a turkey gob. So in theory, if there is a sound that's at a lower frequency, it won't enhance that. But if there is a turkey gobble, it will be increased because it's at the frequency of a turkey gobble. Same idea for, say, an elk bugle. Anything lower, higher, won't increase it. But if there is an elk bugle, it should enhance the sound of that. It doesn't just increase everything. So your pants rubbing together aren't going to be louder. Your chewing isn't going to be louder. When you've worn other hearing protection, you may have noticed that everything is loud. These take that away. And like I talked about, that technology also makes it so you can tell what direction it's coming from. Now, Tetra Hearing does make different devices. So if you're only shooting at the range or clays or something like that, then you can get these that are just for that type of shooting. These that I have are called the multi-pursuit alpha shield. So these are actually programmed with all of their different programs. And you just change between them by pushing that button that's on top. So if you do a lot of different types of shooting and hunting, this may be what you need to look at. Also, as far as construction, they come in this hard waterproof case. And they also come with a smaller, somewhat hard case that you can clip onto your vest or on your pack. So you can take them out and store them in here when you're not using them. One thing of construction that I really like that I didn't think I was going to like is that the multi-pursuit alpha shields run on hearing aid batteries. But the reason I changed my mind is because when we were goose hunting, I had these in for 12 hours. And I know with my other hearing protection, I've only worn them for like four or five hours and they're dead. But if you're doing an all day hunt and you don't wanna have to mess with taking them out, then the hearing aid battery is great. Now the next day, I just went ahead and changed the battery so I don't really know how long it would last. But 12 hours, I'd say, is a pretty good deal. One thing I don't like is that there isn't an on-off switch. So basically, if the cover is closed, then it's on. So most of the time, whenever I'm not using them, I'll open up the battery compartment and store them in the case like this. And that'll help the battery last a little bit longer. If you aren't using these for several days in a row, the battery's probably going to be dead when you go to use them anyway. So if I haven't used them in a while, I just go ahead and switch out the batteries. Now, as far as durability, I've had these for about nine months. And so far, they've held up really, really well. I do take really good care of my things so I've kept them in this case when I wasn't using them. Also try to open the battery compartment so I don't have a battery sitting in there but so far no problems after about nine months. Overall I've been really happy with the Tetra Alpha Shields. All a couple of things that I mentioned aren't really that big of a deal so because of that I'm going to give construction and durability a five out of five. Now it's time for testimonials and reviews. So pretty much you can only buy these from the Tetra website. It does appear though that they put them all up there because there were some negative comments as well as a lot of positive. So I'll tell you what the negative comments were. There were some people who said that their ears must have been too small and these were very uncomfortable. We talked about that. Give them a call if you have any question and they'll be able to talk you through that. Another person said that they were way too noisy in upland setting. I haven't tried them in that setting. Um, if you have these and you have, comment below so that other people can know what you think about that. One person complained that they don't stifle sounds that are very far off. I'm not really sure exactly what they wanted it to do. If the sound is really far off, it's not going to be loud enough for them to 
pick it up as something they need to stifle. Another person did complain that there isn't an on-off switch. We talked about that. One person did mention as a warning that if you have a head covering on to be careful when you're taking it off so you don't pull them out of your ears. One guy, he said that uh, it wasn't really a complaint, but just a warning, I guess, that he had really bad hearing loss. And so when he wore these, he didn't realize how badly he couldn't hear. So everything seemed really loud. So if you have a good bit of hearing loss, just keep that in mind. And then the final complaint was that they are too expensive. And we'll talk about price here in just a second. But you know what we do? We tell you the score that we found. So for testimonials and reviews, 4.6 out of 5. Okay, finally, the reason you came, should you buy the Tetra Hearing Alpha Shields? As always, and I know I'm a broken record, but it 100% depends on what you're looking for. If you're just looking for something real quick to pop in your ears, pop on your ears, go shoot at the range and be done with it, then this is definitely not what you're looking for. As someone mentioned, these things are not cheap, but we talked about the technology in them. That technology isn't cheap either. The single pursuit alpha shields are gonna run you about $1,100. And the retail on these multi-pursuit are right at $1,599. Now, yes, that's a lot of money, but you're getting a lot for that money. As I mentioned, these were created and designed by hearing professionals. So you're not just getting a device you put in and it makes everything louder. You're getting that hearing protection that you're looking for, as well as very specific optimization of the hearing enhancement and like I mentioned it does a great job of deadening the, the sound of the wind so you're not just hearing all this horrible white noise and wind like you can with other hearing protection. If that is more what you're looking for then this may be exactly what you're looking for. Especially if you have hearing loss then these may be absolutely perfect for you. So far I've been super happy with mine and they have quickly become my go-to whenever I'm going to the range and they're also very comfortable to wear while you're hunting all day. The price is kind of up there but again you get what you pay for and you're paying for technology as well as expertise. So because of that, I'm going to take just a little bit off. Should you buy these things? 4.7 out of 5. Hey, thanks for watching our Tetra Hearing Alpha Shield video. While you're here, do us a big favor. Watch a lot of other videos. Give them a thumbs up, share them with your friends, and also if you haven't yet and you really like what we do, please subscribe. You can also go right over to Instagram and follow us as well as Facebook.